This is a how-to video on Lucidchart. When you get to their first page, you will see their pricing, tour, help, sign up free, log in, try it now, or sign up free also down here. I'm going to go to log in. As you can see now, it takes me right to my account, which mine went through right through my Google account. Then you can see you can click add document, add folder, or import. I'm going to do add document. Then you can pick out of a ton of different templates or blank flowcharts. They have the templates listed over here, standard, personal, or community. Then they have a ton of different categories that you can pick from too. I'm just going to pick blank. After that, it will create your flowchart. Now it will take you to your flowchart. From there, you can see that the top bar shows you all the tools that you can do. Then on the left, it will show you the T is for entering text and then all the flowchart options of shapes and different ways you can organize it. It is actually pretty easy to do. All you do is first drag, click and drag the shape that you want to start with. You can put it wherever you want on your sheet. Then you can name it whatever you want and it automatically comes in. Then, from these little circles, you can move it, the screen, however you want. Then, you can make it bigger or smaller by the corners. If you want a new branch, you can just click and drag the side circles. And then you can connect them to whatever you want. So then you can click another shape and add whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. The templates are also very nice too, because then you can already have an outline and all you have to do is type in your information. But blank flow charts can be helpful when you're not sure what size or shape you want it to be. Thanks.